There are about at least a thousand different ways to uh, cook a chicken. And today we're going to actually uh, roast it in a pan like this. And not only are we going to roast it, we're going to put some veggies down and the, the bird will sit on top of it and its juices and the fat will go into the, the veggies that we're going to have on the bottom and they're going to help cook the veggies and give them some flavor. Now this will be roasted on a barbecue and we're actually going to do it on a charcoal uh, barbecue with charcoal briquettes and that's just going to make the bird taste even better and it'll impart a real nice smoky flavor to all of it. So uh, stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll get started. Okay, so here we have some of the items that we're going to be putting into our uh, roasting tray. Uh, I just took some things that I had lying around in uh, the crisper and, and some, some leftovers. I've got uh, a bunch of carrots here. Uh, I've got uh, three yellow onions and one red one that I happen to have. Uh, and then about the same portion of uh, potatoes. And then we're going to use some herbs as well. I've got rosemary, thyme, and I've got some dill that I had left over. I've got uh, olive oil, uh, sea salt, and black pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some oil down over the baking sheet so that uh, the, the veggies don't stick to it. And then I'm going to give everything a very nice dice. I'm going to put them on here and layer the bottom of the sheet so that we have a place for the, the roasted chicken to There's sit on top of as it's full of roasted veggies and we're gonna just add some salt and finally I'm gonna just drizzle this with some olive oil okay, so next I'm gonna make a homemade honey garlic sauce and the things I'm gonna put into it are obviously honey uh, this is Dijon mustard and I'm gonna add some hosin sauce which is kind of a it's, it's an oriental sauce. It has a sesame, sort of a, a nutty sweet flavor. Uh, it's got a hint of garlic in it. Uh, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. You could actually mince some garlic, but to be honest with you, I, I don't want the garlic in this sauce to be too strong. So I'm just going to lace it with a little bit of garlic powder, but you could add minced garlic as well. And I've got some, um, uh, some mustard seeds, which I'm gonna add into there for a little bit of texture and flavor. Now we mix. Okay, now here's our bird, and you'll notice a few things. First of all, he's tied up with twine. Maybe I'll flip him over to show you. He's got twine tied around him, and I'm actually going to cut that off so that I can get some uh, salt and pepper inside of him. And I'm also going to be working with um, his cavity. So here we've got the, the breast bones right here, and what we can actually do is we can inside between his skin and his breastbone, where, where my finger is, in here we can create another cavity and that's where this uh, honey mustard sauce that we just made is gonna get stuffed into. So it's gonna flavor the, the, the breast bones as he's cooking or the, the breast meat as he's cooking. And it's just gonna allow us to get all of this um, flavored nicely. I have separated the honey mustard sauce into two batches. This batch I'm gonna go back into as I baste my, my chicken with it, and then this batch I wanna keep fairly clean because I'm gonna apply that near the end of the cooking process to give it a little bit more glaze and flavor on the outside. Okay, so here we go. Run your fingers underneath. So you can see I'm taking the, the skin and I'm separating it from the breastbone. We'll do that on each side. There's sort of a, a membrane in the middle that doesn't allow me to cross over that easily. So you, you go on each side and really just go as far back as you can, separating the meat from the skin, like so. And then I take a clean spoon and I start filling this cavity with some of that delicious honey mustard sauce that I created. Okay, so you can see this one has the sauce, this one, this side does not.
Okay, the next area is going to be right beside of the thigh. And this is delicious uh, dark meat here. It's my favorite piece of the chicken, the chicken thigh. Uh, and we definitely want to make sure that we get lots of this honey mustard sauce deep inside the thigh, right next to the drumstick. And that's gonna give it an awesome flavor. Okay, in we go. Get two tablespoons in there. And we'll distribute it right down to the bottom, okay? And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some salt, pepper, and olive oil. I'm going to rub, rub it all over the top of the bird and underneath it. And that's going to help crisp the skin nicely. And uh, when it comes out of the barbecue, it'll be nice and, and golden brown. And of course, a little bit of salt on, on the skin will give it just that much. This might seem uh, a bit odd, right. but I found that you really should stuff the cavity with something. And it can really be anything. I have some leftover uh, onions. And I'm gonna stuff the chicken with the onions and that helps it from drying out on the inside. So we'll now just cover them with olive oil. You wanna sprinkle him with some coarse, some finely, some fresh black ground pepper. All right, and there's our bird, ready to go on the barbecue. Notice he's been tied up at the back and the cavity has been sealed, and he's just resting on top of the, uh, the veggies. So he's all set to go, and then we've got the rest of our honey mustard sauce here ready to, uh, to apply to him uh, after he's had a chance to cook. He's gonna cook on a charcoal barbecue for about 90 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or as close as I can get it to that temperature. If you're doing a similar bird in your oven, uh, you'd want to use the same temperature. It's just that uh, with charcoal, we're going to have a hopefully a slightly more enhanced uh, flavor. Okay, well now we've got one set of briquettes over here and another one on the other side. And we're going to put the chicken in the middle here. And this will cause a convection type oven to form in here circulating the hot air. Okay, now our bird is ready to cook. We're going to let it go to about 350 degrees or so. And when it gets to that point, we're going to adjust the baffles so that it doesn't get too much hotter than that. We're going to go for about half an hour and then we'll check okay, back. So it's in. been about half an hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll just take a quick peek. Chicken's starting to brown nicely. And our veggies are starting we're to get some color. One on hour. Sides. We're still hovering around 350. And as you can see, I've covered the chicken with some tin foil because it was starting to brown on top. And we've got some good color on the chicken. It's looking really nice and golden brown. And I'm going to put in a meat thermometer into the chicken thigh, get a reading. And if the thigh is about 180 or the breast is 170, that's when we know our chicken's done. This one seems to have some ways to go, so we'll, uh, we'll let it cook for a bit longer.